<clears throat> Come on, guys. <laughs> Suddenly nobody will remember anything. You will or you will all forget me tomorrow with this approach. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Freak show, I miss weed. I'm sober as a judge these days. <laughs> well, I will admit it live because nobody can blame me. I tried it once or twice. It never had any any pleasant effect for me. I guess I'm just one of these people. It it never had any pleasant effect for me. I ended feeling uh, very heavy. Not just even heavy from the bodily perspective and heavy on my mind. It didn't feel like uh, it's it's creating any pleasurable moments or memories for me. So, uh, yeah. And after a certain point in time, the same goes with alcohol. I don't really drink, and if I do, it's maybe a beer. I wouldn't even consider drinking any hard stuff. I had my fair share during my younger years, that's true, but I don't really need it now and it would actually maybe make my my thinking worse. My thoughts might get darker than they should be. And yep, indeed I also used to smoke and that's gone as well. So that's why I was uh, as I was saying before, that uh, I don't drink, I don't smoke, so I actually can enjoy at least an energy drink, because it's <laughs> something not very healthy. But at least it's something, you gotta have something, right? <laughs> True, you had the wrong stuff. Maybe, but I'm not inclined to trying again. I. You know, I don't mind anyone to, to wanting it, but I also kind of am opposed to meeting people who are completely out of it. Because, you know, some of those people who really, really have a lot of weed, they tend to be kind of mellow, don't really care about stuff. That's not the approach I would like to see in a person. <laughs> you are still responsible f for your own life. So even if you enjoy it, you better, you know, do it in moderation. <laughs> Free show makes it so easy to veg out on the couch or office chair and play video games. Okay, Farmo, so the first time I tried pot when I was 12 or 13, it didn't do much for me. But the second time it was amazing and I became a hardcore stoner. <laughs> OMG, yeah, Freak Show. So, uh, Freak Show, yeah, alcohol doesn't mix well with me either. So I try to stay away from that. Indeed, indeed. So a beer is fine, a beer or two, maybe a glass of something, cider. That could be fine, but other than that, nah, I don't really care for that anymore. I don't care for vodka or gin or, or I don't know, whiskey. <laughs> Those days are pretty much gone. And Firebomb, we used to get high <laughs> AF and play N64 for players. Okay. Those were the days. <laughs> Freak show. And Fireboom, I don't really do anything anymore either, so True Tempo, bet I've been waiting to play some Smash Bros. <laughs> nice. In an elevated state, True, right? <laughs> Let's call it elevated state. And Fireboom, I still have an unopened bottle of whiskey my mom brought me almost three years ago. Okay, could be nice. That's it. That is a completely different type of drinking. Of course, three years are not that much, but... All the other bottles would be so much more expensive, but maybe an old alcohol is something else. It's not like you drink it to get wasted, you drink it to enjoy. And True Tempo, I don't smoke to that extent usually. Uh, a lot of times when I'm in your chat, I have smoked. That's okay, because it's not, it's not noticeable. You just communicate normally, so... That's a different type of being in an elevated state. 
<laughs> True, I'm very coherent. It just relaxes me, makes me concentrate more and snack, of course. Snacks! Snack? Snack? Where is a snack? <laughs> it's all good, True. It's all good. That's indeed. <laughs> As Firebomb says, that's, that's good, True. Indeed. And Freak Show. I used to smoke entirely too much pot. <laughs> it turned me into one of those mellow, go with the flow, unproductive people. So that's why I don't do it either. Nothing wrong with it when you're a kid, but when you need to adult, it gets in the way of responsibility and motivation. That's my point. That's exactly my point. Even though you can enjoy it in your younger life, you will get to a state where you are responsible for yourself. And you need to take action. You need to do something for yourself. Live. Because even your parents will not be here forever. So uh, some people don't realize that and they end up in a bad way, in a bad state, in a bad situation. If you have managed to realize that you need to go and work and do something for you, then that's better. That's better for your own life. What else did I miss? Farbom, yeah, I couldn't really keep smoking when I started to get serious about school and life. True. Even though you might not like it, all the responsibilities, hell, even I didn't like it, right? Because I kind of left my job. But uh, it needs to happen. Fortunately, the, the world is wrapped around all of that right now. So you couldn't really do that endlessly. Or you will, I don't know, end up on the street or completely addicted to something else after a certain period of time. Depends. Depends on the mentality of the psyche of the individual, I would say. Freak show, my dad passed when I was 20. Sorry to hear that. Very sorry. Liver failure from alcohol, bless him. Hmm. Great guy when sober. Sorry to hear that. Indeed. And true, oh, one time I smoked too much and then played Rust was dark out and I sat in a bush for 45 minutes because I heard footsteps. Turns out they were mine. <laughs> True. <laughs> Please be safe. <laughs> Please don't overindulge. <laughs> it's not good for you. <laughs> Even though the, the situation may be funny. Um, <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's read up. Phew. I gotta wipe my eyes. <laughs> this is just too much. This is too precious. <laughs> okay. Incident report regarding quarry operations. Summary. During my weekly safety inspection to the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of redacted. The whole team was redacted, aligned and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained stationary, I guess, or focused, for more than redacted minutes until I had to resort to literally redacted. Afterwards, afterwards they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in a threshold area is to either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or preferably both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Firebomb, Jesus, <laughs> indeed. Sweet, hello, sir. <laughs> welcome, sweet money, welcome, welcome. How is your day? And how is everyone today? Okay, I beat you to it, or you beat me to it. Okay, so my day is great. We have great people in chat, so there is a lot of conversation going on, and I am having difficulties playing the game. <laughs> and I was actually blamed for not reading chat. <laughs> yeah, it's just all, all in good fun. <laughs> Indeed, we've got a great roster today. 
Oh yeah, we miss Desby. Desby is hard at work. But hopefully he will be able to return later. Depends on his job. Yep. He's still supporting the stream with his Twitch Prime, so... <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, where is Desby? Yeah, Desby is... Desby has a new job since a few months back, I guess. So he definitely told me before that he will be unable to join the streams because in his, you know, he was watching me during normal working hours in his old job, which he was leaving. So he could afford doing that. Now he's in a new job and he has a lot of stuff going on. So he has no way of, of watching the stream during normal working hours, unfortunately. Maybe that will improve in due time. <clears throat> And sweet. Oh, not too bad here. Can't complain. I don't know how long I can stay since I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Okay, so you're planning to, to play this game. That's good. That's good. And how am I enjoying Control? I notice you've been playing a few days. This is the third day and the game is glorious. <laughs> I have to tell you, Sui, if you are planning to, to play the game, I really hope I will not spoil a lot of stuff for you. But the game is, is great. Collect the Black Rock Prism from the excavated uh, seam. So, the game is a great mixture of mystery, paranatural combat. So you, you have the weapon which effectively chose you to be your weapon. Otherwise you would have died. And uh, you can, you know, dodge, you can have a shield, you can seize enemies, and you can throw stuff around, which is like the greatest thing about the game. <laughs> so I totally recommend it. I really do, sweet. <laughs> Fireboom, are you still hoogaring No Man's Sky, sweet? I guess he's uh, Sweet is shifting between No Man's Sky and uh, Rimworld a little bit. Do, 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 do. Farbum. Oh yeah, like Danny does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you mean watching the stream? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Danny also has a lot of work to do during the day, but she tries. I'm gonna reach chat and then I will pick it up. And sweet, yeah, I'm still doing one or two streams a week of it. Just moved to New Galaxy, so we're starting to find a forever base location now. Nice, and sweet. Looks super cool. I may have to wait for a sale or something, but I'm interested in checking it out. Yeah, it's still pretty much 60 bucks. We were mentioning that today that I also myself got it from uh, Humble. And the only way for it was that I had some money in my Humble Bundle wallet. And you can also get your money back into the wallet up to 250 euros so uh it's the only deal in in quotations that i could find otherwise it's 59.99 or something <laughs> thank you thank you true indeed and uh sweet uh i have never moved to a different galaxy in no man's sky what does that change and there it is right where you led me HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan. Oh shit. Is this the correct way? I don't even know. Probably. I hope we are not missing any lore, because I'm trying to find everything and read all the stuff. Because it's really interesting. And, okay, I'm going to just pause Sui. So, yeah, I was looking for a 10 or 20% off deal on Borderlands 3 today and realized no one has one. Sad day. There will be no deal. I don't think there were deals. Were there deals for Borderlands 3? I moved to Eisentam 
because it's kind of the Zen galaxy and I'm on permadeath. So do you have a choice in No Man's Sky when you reach the center on where to go? Because I intend to get a lot of money first if that money is is kept with you. You do. Okay. Hmm. Didn't know that. And true, I'm thinking about getting Daisy. Didn't you mention that game to me? I thought you already had it. <laughs> but feel free. I don't know if Daisy... There is a, some kind of a horror bundle going on on Humble Bundle right now. But I don't think I saw Daisy within it. So maybe it's it's different. Marbom, I watched someone stream Daisy. It looked pretty cool. I think, isn't Daisy one of the games that was kind of abandoned by the devs? And there's, or there's an issue that it's still so very buggy <clears throat> and never fixed. Hmm. Speak with Marshall. Where is Marshall, by the way? Oh, we returned to the to the entrance. My bad. I guess we need to go to the executive office. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what did I miss? So, Sui, uh, you keep your money, you just break some ship suit parts that you need to fix up when you get to the new galaxy. And of course you have no access to your previous bases, right? I guess. True, so it looks fun. And it's very similar to Rust, just less base building. Ah, okay. Zombies and less base building, right? Farbom, I don't know anything about it other than watching her drunkenly play it. <laughs> true tempo and not to my knowledge on console there is a game breaking bug but not on PC that I know of okay so maybe I just read some some old article Is it behind me? Damn, it's behind me. That's not good. We should fast travel. There we go. <laughs> so that was kind of annoying. You cannot really kill that enemy, that, that little blob, that black one that was moving around. You can only shoot it, it will stagger it for a little bit, and then you need to move. So <clears throat> I better move away. And okay, sweet. So with the Beyond update, you can actually use teleporters to get back to your old bases. You used to abandon the old galaxy completely. That's what I thought. So okay, so they kind of changed it. So you wants us to all of data entries, so you still have access to the to, to the old bases. That's that's interesting. Okay, I never really wanted to go into the center of the galaxy, No Man's Sky, exactly for that reason that you will lose everything. And true, so I was looking at Hunt Showdown and Escape from Tarkov. Not sure what game I want to invest in. I haven't been watching Hunt Showdown. I haven't been watching any any streams about that. But I watched a bit of Escape from Tarkov. And it looked like such a, an inventory management game to me. And I guess it's a lot of... Uh, you know, you can lose a lot with the game. It's exactly about that, right? Escape from Tarkov. You gear yourself up, you go into a zone where other players essentially PvPing or scavenging stuff. Uh, 
in that area can just shoot you down and uh, you never know you can lose everything or you will kill everyone else and get all their stuff but you're always limited by your inventory so it was such a huge inventory management <clears throat> sorry what's the connection what is in there new piece of lore linguistic ability Analysis of His Threat Part 2 Confidential Summary Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the His entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating His entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent His entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? Is this how the His corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio record. Record. Refer to the file redacted for full report. Okay. And Sui. So finishing the Artemis quest is the same as going to the center. So it's not a super daunting task anymore. And okay. I, I am at that stage right now because I had that quest kind of bugged, the Artemis quest. And we actually found out that it was not bugged, but it was progressing in a quest below that quest for some reason in, in my list of quests. <clears throat> so I am at the step uh, for going into the center and I didn't want to do that exactly for the reason. So now that I know that I might not lose everything, I may just go through. We'll see. <clears throat> and Sui. So true. I haven't seen anything about it, but there's a new Hunt Showdown update that just came out that's supposed to revive it a bit. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the quest log is silly sometimes. Indeed, it was for me. And the quest about uh, the base archives, it's still bugged for me. I cannot pick it up anywhere. <clears throat> Damn. My throat today. I'm drinking a lot of tea, at least. So true, I only watched Summit play for about 30 minutes earlier today. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe you will need to, to make... Uh, to do a little research about that. Watch a bit more. I haven't really heard much about Hunt and <laughs> if it's any good. Uh, so you need to make sure that the quest is selected in your log and then wait a little bit for it to pop up on the screen and tell you to interact with the base computer. I was trying to chase that quest uh, <clears throat> throughout my bases. But since I had about three bases, since that time, the quest just travels. <laughs> Even though I click it, I leave it there, it mostly selects a different base than, than the one that I'm in. <clears throat> on, or that I'm near it, near it to, and then I need to jump somewhere, land at my base, I try to inter interact with it, and then it just jumps somewhere else. And I think I will need to clear my throat again, so I'm just gonna try that real quick. So, if my tea won't help it, I'm actually trying a Tic Tac. <laughs> Maybe a mint will help with my throat. A little bit more air coming in or something like that. Because it, it, it feels strange. <clears throat> Firebomb, I have a chronic cough, so I feel you. Damn. I'm sorry for that, Firebomb. Well, yeah, this is not chronic, but it's... I, I know my, my throat is always adjusting to, to streaming. Even though I've been doing this for how many days? <laughs> 141. It needs to. It need. It needs to get used to it. <clears throat> Sweet. Ah, so the current task is to interact with the base computer. Sometimes they'll throw you a curveball and ask you to make the last thing that the base computer taught you. Hmm. It's still not there. 
Uh, well, it is not in the... Uh, my English. <laughs> it's not in the list of uh, things you should do in the quest right now. It's only to interact with it. And it just keeps keeps skipping. I think I googled it once and it seems to be a bug since the initial release. And there was like a method to build another base, you know, upload it, save the game, quit the game and reload it next to that base and maybe like the quest will get anchored to that base computer. Hm. English bad, game good. Indeed. <laughs> okay, let's chat with Emily. Hi, Jesse. Hmm. So Emily has nothing new. See you soon. See you soon. Be out there. Where's where is Marshall? Speak with Marshall. She should be here. Executive Central Executive. Not here. Oh, there she is. All sector. Had Hello. to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it. She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. Brother's Keeper. Okay, so he is locked up. I actually expected that to be either this to be the case or him to be the you cause of this. All sectors. Executive is in the process of being fortified. But we'll see. Orders. Maintenance is relatively stable. A security employee named Arish has apparently prevented multiple key locations from being taken by the Hiss. Okay, and Firebomb, I'm a little bit worried about Weasel indeed. They are all in the trajectory of the hurricane so hoping for the best indeed oh there is something to listen to this is lynn salvador head of bureau security i'm making a formal security order due to the incident in april case number 
Q593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel.